welcome my sisters and brothers in Christ to this time of devotion during the day. I invite you to still your heart, set aside distractions, and concentrate on God's grace. This is a service of responsive prayer in time of struggle from Olivet Lutheran Church in Sylvania, Ohio. God's people have practiced this liturgy for many centuries, and we offer it to you as a time to be stilled in the midst of the concerns and busyness of this time. You are invited to participate fully in the responsive readings, the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, the prayers, and so on. Simply follow along. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. O God, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us in this day and during this time by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but remember that always we are walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. During challenging times like this, it's clear that prayer is vital. With that in mind, in chapter 17 of the book of John, Jesus prays to God for his disciples and for all believers, including future believers, in other words, us. And he says, beginning with the 20th verse, I pray for these followers, but I'm also praying for all those who will believe in me because of their teaching. Father, I pray that they can be one, as you are in me and I am in you. I pray that they can also be one in us. Then the world will believe that you sent me. 
I have given these people the glory that you gave me so that they can be one, just as you and I are one. I will be in them and you will be in me so that they will be completely one. Then the world will know that you sent me and that you loved them just as much as you loved me. Father, I want these people that you gave me to be with me where I am. I want them to see my glory, which you gave me because you loved me before the world was made. Father, you are the one who is good. The world does not know you, but I know you, and these people know you sent me. I showed them what you are like, and I will show them again. Then they will have the same love that you have for me, and I will live in them. Melinda Van Rye from uh, the state of New York uh, has offered a uh, devotion in the current uh, upper room, and it's called A Beautiful Blessing. She says, at our wedding reception, a friend of my grandparents who had known me my whole life hugged me. She told me how proud my mother would have been of me. I appreciated that connection to the past, especially since my mother and grandparents were no longer living. I was surprised, however, when her husband also hugged me and took my hand. I could not recall ever having a conversation with him, and yet he said, I've been praying for you since you were a little girl. Nothing any other guest had said to me was as meaningful as that. I had spent my life unaware of this man, yet he had cared enough to pray for me all this time. I was grateful for this beautiful blessing. Before Jesus was betrayed and crucified, he prayed for us. First, he prayed that his disciples would be protected in their faith and that they would be made holy. He entrusted God's message to them to share with others as he had shared it with them. He then prayed for all who would believe because of their message. That's us. In the body of Christ, we are all family. We can show our love by praying for one another. She offers a thought for the day. Today, I will tell someone that I am praying for them. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to see others through your eyes and with your love. Soften our hearts to the needs of others and remind us to pray for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall forever be, world without end. Amen. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord's face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. Amen.